and we're back with some more dot hack GU. We're gonna step right into it and I'll see you guys in a bit. Aina? Sakabo is with her. I think she finally understands that blaming you won't bring Ovan back. Let's just leave her alone for a while. Aseo, that monster you fought, was one of Kubia's hunting dogs, a Gomorra. Wait, you mean that wasn't the real thing? Indeed. Furthermore, Kubia is capable of producing endless numbers of Gomorra. Oh, that means... There can be little point in attacking a single Gomorra. Our one chance may be to eliminate Kubia's main body, however... Kubia is the anti-existence of epitaphs. Fighting each other would only result in our powers canceling each other out. Now that we've lost the epitaph of Rebirth, we would be destroyed if we tried to fight it head-on. Oh no! So what can we do? If we could converse with God. God? Have you not heard? There was once a goddess watching over the world. A goddess? The goddess was the world's strings, the system itself. The ultimate AI that once ruled over the world. Aura. Aura. That's what they say she was called. Aura. The goddess. A deity that exists in the world. Uh. If she was the system of the world itself, then perhaps... But how are we going to talk with this aura? It's a path not even Ovan was able to walk. It will no doubt be difficult. Hulgran's Cathedral. Let's go to Delta Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. Very well. I shall accompany you. Um... I'm coming too. Aina! I have something that my brother gave me. Let's invite Yada. We might be able to find out.
Looks like Kubia isn't here yet. It appears it's being protected by a holy power. You sound like you really believe in this god, Yada. <laughs> Here's the cathedral. Let's go. We don't know what'll happen. We should make sure we're completely prepared. In order to search for the ultimate AI, Aura, Ovan formed the Twilight Brigade and invited you into it. The Twilight Brigade's objective was to locate the Key of Twilight. The sign that they'd arrived at truth. I believe that Ovan may have originally sought to borrow Aura's power in order to exterminate Ida. The eight epitaphs represented the truth to Ovan. Signs showing him the way to meet Aura. Ovan. <sighs> hey, what did Ovan leave with you anyway? This. Wasn't that in the Creator's room? That white place? My brother? He read books to me all the time. Lots and lots of books from that secret room. And my favorite one, the one he read to me the most, was the Epitaph of Twilight. For the Twilight Dragon Rumbles The Dark Hearth Elba And Helba Queen of the Dark Has finally raised her army Aperon King of Light Beckons At the base of the rainbow Do they meet Against the abominable ways, together, they fight. What is this? What's going on? Could this be the original text of the Epitaph of Twilight? Uh. It's... it's reacting to my epitaph! Yes, of course. The key of twilight is the sign of the truth. You mean if we bring all eight Epitaph user PCs here? Most likely. But Yada, Ovan's gone. Remember, Haseo. Remember Ovan's words. Ovan's words? Defeat me this time once and for all! Come, Haseo. Use your avatar. The one that devoured seven of the eight! Defeat me with your fully developed avatar, your Grim Reaper! They're all... in me? That's right, Haseo. The 
you and your terror of death fought our avatars and devoured them. As a result, you carry the powers of all eight. The key is within you. So that means I'm... Aseo, you are what Ovan was searching for. It's you, Haseo. The key of twilight is you. Aura. Awaken the goddess that left this world. These guys! <laughs> Here they come! Bring it on! Fucked on me! Can't these guys die? <clears throat> Knights. Are these the pursuers Ovon mentioned? Are they the guardians of the system? Then that means they were after anomalies in the system of the world. They were after Ida and Ovon. I, I beg your pardon, but are you? Kubia is the shadow of you Epitaph users. So you know everything already. You've used Ina's PC as a vessel. Aura, were you the one who brought about Fidel's prophecy? If so, then tell us. Tell us how to save the world from Kubia.
Great goals are always fulfilled through personal sacrifice. Personal sacrifice? You mean Ovan, or...? Do you mean we should abandon our Epitaph user PCs? I get it. If Kubia is the anti-existence of Epitaphs... The man who used the Epitaph of Rebirth... ...has already been lost. Even if the remaining seven Epitaphs were sent back into the world... It wouldn't work? I am the one who remains asleep. I have no power to decide the future of this world. The future of this world will be decided... ...by you players of the game. By people. The future of the world lies at the ends of human will. What's this? goddess that brought about this world's dawn. Yet once again, the twilight of the gods has come. You, who seek light in the twilight, you who are like me, the little children of Morgana, may you find happiness. Aina. Aura. She's gone back into the world, into the vast sea of data. We can't stay here much longer. Head back to the Serpent of Lore. Kubia's consumption is faster than I'd predicted. Most of the players have begun logging out, having sensed something unusual is going on. At this rate, countless towns will cease to function. I see. If we have business in a town, it may be best to take care of it now. Let's head back to the Serpent of Lore when our preparations are complete. We've got to take care of our errands in town right now. Let's head to Raven's at home when we're done preparing. So, we got new dual sword, I mean, daggers. Myrtle. Attacks have the target's health. Unfortunately, I don't think this works on bosses. If it does, however, work on bosses, this is great news for us because the bosses will just die with ease. However, it is not a rapid attack, unfortunately, but who cares? We're set. We're ready to go. Um, 
Let's go. Yeah, let's go try to do some cheat alchemy if I can with those cheat codes. Let's see what we can do. Okay, I know. Really? I still can't use my cheat codes? Are you serious? Well, that's just a bunch of crap. Maybe I, maybe I have to unlock it somehow. I don't know. Whatever. See if I care. Alright, we're moving. We're pretty much at the end game right now, which is nice. And then on to volume 4. And I bet you're all thinking, oh great, volume 4, more PvP arena, more maxing levels to skip the whole game? No. Nah. Volume 4 is only like 4 hours long, unfortunately. And it's sad knowing that. It's And it's nothing but cutscenes. So basically it's a movie. Team's Kubia is consuming all of the servers. Unfortunately, there's no safe place left in the world. Master Yada, your orders! We will take shelter in the outer regions. Let us prioritize the safety of Epitaph users. Outer regions? A place that is and at the same time isn't the world. The net slum. We'll have to move directly to the net slum from here. We've already sent Kuhn and the others ahead. The general PCs who are still logged in have also gone to the net slum. This place won't hold much longer. Let's begin. Commencing transfer. <clears throat> it's time for us to abandon GU's base of operation. Huh. So that was Aura. The world's ultimate AI. I never thought that I'd ever get to meet a deity. Yet we did. In spite of that, Aura had no intention of coming to the world's or the network's salvation. Perhaps that's because Aura is now a system without a voice. You mean like a natural system? Perhaps just an aloof system. Aura flows along with the world. She is as the world is. Calling her a goddess and worshipping her image is simply the way humans chose to see her. Maybe that's the reason why Aura decided to leave the cathedral's altar. Do you mean there's no longer a way to exterminate Kubia? Let's try to think of other strategies.
Emergency maintenance. Yeah, they ain't gonna fix crap. I'm sorry. You have a bug in your game. A bug that will not die. So, yeah. <laughs> Nothing new there, that's cool. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut here, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.